All right, uh, good Sunday afternoon to everybody. Thought I'd just give you another update from from my driveway. Uh, the one thing I was going to show you, I think a car will focus on today is the 2006 PT Cruiser. Um, this has 36,500 original miles on it. And um, I've had it for five years, almost five and a half years. And it's been a, just a fun summer car. Uh, we originally got it as sort of a extra car for the kids to drive around in, um, but it turned into more of a just a summer toy. I figured it was in such good shape, I didn't really want to expose it to a Minnesota road salt winter. So, so we park it pretty much six months out of the year, and then uh, when it's a nice day, we drive it in the summer. So anyway, um, I did a video previously about the uh, Harbor Freight um, bike rack and um, kind of a general review of it. I thought I would show you what it's like with the bike actually mounted on it. Let's see, I got one of my dogs barking. It actually does a pretty decent job of holding the bike. I mean, you still get a bit of the wobble here, but um, the big thing is it's high enough you don't really have to worry about um, hitting a steep approach that type of thing. So just a moment. All right, so picking up where we left off. Um, so essentially, you have the straps. Um, there's basically a mount for the top tube. Um, and it does a pretty decent job of anchoring it down. I think typically, if I were um, on a longer distance trip, I might add a bungee cord or two just to make sure it's staying pretty stable. Um, but it does a pretty decent job of uh, keeping it away from the car. Uh, the front wheel may bump against a bumper, but again, the bungee cart could hold it stable. Um, I don't think it's going to really braid or do much damage to the paint, but if you wanted to, you could certainly bungee cord that front wheel or just even take the front wheel off if you have the space for it. So, um, Otherwise, view from the driver's side here and I mean normally I take my saddlebags off when I go someplace but you can see you got plenty of space between the car and the bike and the bike in the ground so it works pretty well anyway um, other than that um, look at the odometer here yep, 36,500 miles I mean, it's practically like a, I mean, really not much wear and tear on this thing. Um, I think they did, did replace tires because, of course, tires just age up before they wear out. Um, it's uh, mechanically been fine. Uh, just oil changes, um, air filter, I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, yeah, brake light switch went out on it. Uh, that was interesting. Uh, it would not shift out of park. And the brake lights wouldn't work so I traced it back to the brake lights which and that was a pretty easy repair when I was in for an oil change I just hadn't fixed that too so so um, other than that um, really not much else going on um, I think it does need rear shocks um, last mechanical inspection last year said that they were leaking I might try that as a DIY project um, looks like they're pretty easy to replace from what I can see online so we might get the time and maybe get some be a good excuse to buy some new jacks and stuff like that give that a try so anyway other than that that's pretty much my fleet update for the pt cruiser so uh, i'll talk to everybody later um otherwise i've been actually driving the dakota around today get some miles on that it's been pretty fun nice day for driving the old pickup around um been driving the volt a little bit too hither and yon uh, so just basically it's kind of a challenge with this I work remotely cars aren't getting driven much so I have to make excuses to go out and go for drives here and there so anyway that's all I have have a great Sunday and a great rest of your week thanks for watching and talk to everybody later